What's good YouTube, Nate with Mass Collector, back with another Masters of the Universe comparison video. Uh, today we got Man at Arms. Um, the versions I have here are, this is the Filmation from, um, God, was it from Maddie Collector, Club, Club Grayskull, I believe. This was in the first wave. I'm pretty sure, it, anyways. Um, that version, we have the new Origins line from Mattel, and then we have the Super 7, five and a half inch Filmation colorway, basically with a different head sculpt from Super 7. Um, most of you know, these came in kind of like a, a box type of packaging. It was not really on a card. And um, I opened this one up right away because I had, I think I ordered like six of each when I ordered these, pre-ordered these from the Club Grayskull line. I basically pick out the best one and then I sold the rest, so. But uh, these are great. The, uh, the Club Gray Skull one, Filmation anyways. They come with the, I think this is the Shrink Ray or the thing that he has. The face sculpt is really, really nice on these. But I love the Filmation line. Lots of articulation, you know, the head goes all the way around. The uh, armor is nice and pliable. This is basically just painted and, you know, built right in, sculpted right in. So comes with the, the ray gun here, his club. Um, either hand you can put it in. Also has this club as well that he came with. Man at Arms, uh, club filmation. Club Gray Skull, head moves around, um, biceps move, shoulders move, up, down, uh, elbows, and your hands as well. Twist around at the wrist. Uh, he's got a torso action. Pretty loose. Um, his hips swift, swivel. Legs are on a ball joint. So lots of articulation here at the knee and then at his shin moves, which is great because it actually moves the, uh, the armor a little bit too, which is kind of nice that it moves with it. And then the foot um, looks like it's just, it'll move around and up and down, so. Lots of action poses you can get this guy into, which is great. So, love this figure. And then we got the comparisons here where we have uh, Super 7 versus Mattel. And we'll crack open and get into this one first. Um, let's look at the artwork on the back. If you haven't seen that yet, the. Uh, Mattel version. The new Origins line is great. Too bad I got a really bad figure. I should get another one. It's got a better card on it, but I just have the one for now. The Mace in the hand, twist into powerful battle positions, weapons, master, and royal advisor, man in arms, assist He Man in the battle against evil. And then it's got your wave one as well. So on the back of Super 7. Kind of more of a filmation look to it. You know, Beastman, Orko, and Tila for sure. Man in Arms, it doesn't really look like the cartoon there, but I think it was more of a nod to the original comics. Man in Arms once more fights Beastman in order to protect the secrets of Castle Grayskull. And this is just as a twisting back. So, we'll open up Super 7. Um, he comes with this, kind of like a little mini comic look type of thing when it's on the card. 
Oh shit. So his, uh, he doesn't have a gun. It comes out of his wrist. God, what was I thinking? So that's where that sticks on the, uh, the filmation guy. If you can get it in there. It's kind of broke. I'll have to re-glue it or something, but that's where that comes from. My bad. I'm gonna show you a toy from Toon. First animated appearance, early television commercial for Castle Grayskull. Commercials, toy accurate look was greatly simplified for animation. He was also given a mustache to convey his role as a mentor or father figure. And the Super 7, five and a half inch comes with the ray gun and the mace. Um, the ray gun for this Super 7 version, the recent one, is a lot bigger than the one that comes with the uh, more screen accurate figure. I figured I would do a video with the cloud cover because I wasn't getting these blind marks, but we'll just finish it off like this. So it gets that guy. Um, I'm not even sure if this is even going to, like, See, this is what sucks about these five and a half inch like retro type figures is that the the weapons you can't hold it right. You know, you can only hold it with one with one hand. Whereas in the the filmation, so you can actually hold on to that thing with both hands. Definitely more realistic and whatnot. There you got the mace. Head sculpt is solid, man. Looks like you can take off his armor off his arms, though. You definitely got the, the twisting action. Um, but yeah, I mean, limited, just five points of articulation, real six. So you got one, two, three. Four, five, six. They're nice, but I think it's these are better for you know nostalgia purposes, not really action poses and things like that. But and then we go to which is my favorite line now is the Mattel Origins line. Um, it comes with the same comic that came with all the other ones. Beast Barrage. So this came with the first wave of characters. Um, it doesn't show Battle Cat on here, but Prince Adam and the Jet Sled also come in this. But it's got all the characters that came out in the first wave in this comic. It's cool they did that. Been nice if they had individual comics for each character though, like kind of like their their bio. I mean, this is an origin line, so. But it's great that Mattel is mass producing these things. Um, you can get anybody pretty much online now from the first wave, except for Prince Adam. And the jet sled. I mean, you can still get them secondary sellers for about twice the cost of retail. But I think once more retailers get their hands on these in 2021, which is what's supposed to happen, um, they're not going to be Walmart exclusive anymore. That you'll pretty much see and get whatever you want. Um, so let's look at this guy here. Love the colors of this guy. So his head is very movable. It's super loose on here. Um, his armor, you can definitely take it off, but it's on here nice and you know snug. It's not loose at all. It's on there really, really nice. Um, same articulation, right? Shoulders. 
uh, elbows. But this guy, man, is he, he's super tight. And then wrist, spin around, up and down type of thing. Uh, leg wise, same as the other figures. You know, his hips move around, um, his knee. His knee's got a swivel on it too, which is great. Um, his shin, right above his boot line there. And then his foot all the way around on a ball joint type of thing. So very good um, articulation with the origin lines. I, I just love them. So whenever I get my little stop motion area set up where I can screw these guys down through the, you know, the surface and get some rigging to keep them in, in check and get my camera set up so they don't move. Things like that I have to do yet too. So let's take a look at the armor and the weapons he gets. Um, so looks like we got a uh, more of, of a Looks like we got this, where we can put this one on his arm. I don't know if it, if it matters which one goes on which. But yeah, this goes on his right arm. Um, and this goes on his right leg. And this goes on his forearm. So his right side is all pretty much covered up with armor. We can get it on that there. Um, this one goes around his arm, forearm. So it kind of fits underneath the top piece here, which is cool because it all looks like it's got that um, kind of accordion type of effect here that'll go inside and outside of itself when you move his arms around. Could use another tab here to keep his armor on a little bit tighter. You can see the tab is it's right there when you pull it tight. Kind of nice if there was something else there to hold it. Same with the, uh, the upper part, but I get it. It's got to be able to move around a little bit with all the different points of articulation, so that's probably why it's a little bit looser. Yeah, it could be, his head is super loose. I know his heads pop off and everything. So maybe there's something we can do to make it a little bit more stickier. And then we got his bottom armor across his knee and shin. Again, it's very loose um, it's better on his leg though you know it's it's not super loose but it'll keep it on there can't really pull it much tighter but overall I mean these, these figures are just sick I love them Yeah, these are still so cool. But origin line, Super 7, five and a half inch. Origin lines are looking more like a six inch figure. Yeah, almost, almost six inches. Quarter inch or so taller. Great all around figures. Um, but again, I would say number one for me is this one, number two, close second right there, and then Super 7's uh, Filmation, uh, my least favorite of, of these releases anyways. Um, I do have the, uh, the Classics version somewhere boxed up yet. Um, I'm not pulling those guys out. I might sell on my Classic line actually. So just getting to that point, just taking up so much room and I don't have them out of the box displayed or anything. I'd probably sell them to somebody that actually would do that. So anyways, um, thanks to everybody for joining on this video. 
Um, really cool man at arms, great figures. The origin lines did not disappoint again. Um, if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that uh, subscribe button if you haven't yet. And then hit that bell for notifications of new videos when I put them out. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.